Uh, thanks, Matthias, for summary. Give a summary for my work. Uh, as he said, uh, actually, I'm working in Claudia's group, and my work in Nomad repository is mainly uh, focused on the repository. So here, uh, I will introduce the Nomad repository in my talk. <coughs> And this is the outline uh, of my talk. Uh, first, uh, I will explain the general concept of the Nomad repository, and then uh, go to how the Nomad repository works uh, in some technical viewpoint. And then, uh, finally, uh, I will show how to use, uh, how you can use uh, the Nomad repository. A good starting point would be to explain uh, what Nomad Repository is. Uh, here the simple explanation uh, of the Nomad Repository is about web-based application of database and file storage for storing and sharing uh, calculation input and output files. The question from your side would be, why should we share our calculation uh, files? Uh, to, find, uh, to get the answer, just we can think about this kind of situation when people are performing their calculation. Usually, people would like to store their files in a local storage. But after that, uh, after they uh, use the, those data never been used again, and even open uh, data thrown away. And somehow, people don't know where data were. <clears throat> so let's uh, suppose that if uh, we, we have uh, this kind of web repo uh, the repository, which is connected to the web. You can upload, uh, you would like to upload your file into the repository, and you can uh, get back easily those data by downloading whenever you want. And in this way, uh, uh, the data can be shared with people uh, in the world. This kind of pictures uh, uh, can give us uh, plenty of advantages here. First, for uh, reusability, uh, people can regenerate uh, uh, the data uh, for their own purpose. And uh, data can be used extensively. For example, even if someone is not an uh, expert person about performing calculation in that field, uh, he or she can use data. <clears throat> and uh, it's very efficient because we can avoid to perform same calculation again. And because uh, it's based on web-based web access, so People can use uh, data anytime, anywhere, and anyone can use it. So it's very convenient. And for sustainability, uh, for example, we last tell we guarantee at least uh, for 10 years for storing the files. And it uh, can be used some kind of uh, web backup storage. And also for the reference, uh, for example, we uh, the Data object identifier UI can be offered to the people uh, from the repository. <clears throat> so in this way, people would like to upload their uh, files into the repository again and again. Then we collect uh, the data from, of the world, from the world. And what we construct is exactly a big data hub for material science community. <clears throat> So based on this kind of idea, uh, what we have to think for next thing is just uh, about for its implementation. So many things uh, could be uh, considered uh, for, to for the implementation. For example, uh, computing resources and database technology and management system and user interface, so on. <clears throat> so I will uh, give you uh, some uh, technical details uh, a little bit here. First of all, about the file storage, because we need to construct a huge file storage uh, connected to the web uh, for storing files. So we are working with Max Planck Computing and Data Facility. Uh, it's in Garihing. Then we constructed our uh, file storage there. 
And also, we uh, hired PostgreSQL technology to create relational database system for the uh, management of the stored file. So this is the part of whole database schema, and you can see the many relationship between database tables. And for handling database and uh, file storage, uh, we have uh, we developed Python code base system. Uh, that code base system covers this kind of uh, functionalities. Uh, it's about unloading and downloading stuff and about to access database. And also it covers this parsing process here. Parsing means about extracting information from the low calculation files. Here the simple scheme about the parsing process. Uh, here it starts, uh, the input is the just low calculation file. It's just, it's a code specific format. And this low uh, calculation file are trained, uh, are being translated by parsers, and then uh, we can get this, uh, eject this information we want. And uh, this information uh, is being stored in our database and is visible on the web. And also, it's going to the nomad meta info. And the, about the more details, uh, there will be next to talk for this nomad meta info. <clears throat> And uh, all of these parts are just be done for uh, backend process on the server. So for user front end, uh, we developed a web, Java web application for the repository graphical user interface. So it's running on the web browser, so you don't need uh, any kind of installation process, so it's very convenient. After we have launched this kind of repository service, uh, people uh, unload their data quite a lot. And our data, uh, data volume of our uh, Nomad repository database is getting increased quite a lot. And now we stored uh, more than 44 million uh, total energy calculation in the repository. And it's about uh, 16.5 terabyte of uh, compressed data. <clears throat> and 80 83% of those calculations are provided by AproLib, OQMD, or Matter Project. And these are open access. Uh, here, exactly what uh, we are seeing is just uh, data from the repository uh, is uh, being uh, propagated to the further process of the nomad. What should know about uh, in this figure is just uh, you should know uh, making uh, your data became open access mode is very important because uh, only for the open access data uh, uh, did, uh, it, uh, this uh, step uh, can be uh, triggered by making, open, uh, by making open access mode. And for the details about this process for conversion layer, conversion layer and for the archive, there will be, it will be explained next talk. And also there is another session for Encyclopedia and Big Data Analytics also for advanced uh, graphics. So now we are going to see, I'm going to show how uh, you can use Nomad repository. First, we need to access uh, the repository website with this address. And you can reach this page. Here, uh, there is a YouTube movie uh, uh, about uh, to explain the basic concept and user guide. You can click here and you can see the movie. And if you click here, there's instruction about how to uh, upload calculation files. And if you scroll down, you can see the list of codes currently we are supporting. Uh, and uh, the more codes will be added more. And, uh, uh, and click here if you want to move to the Java web application for GUI. And then this is the front page of our GUI. Uh, here is the list of key services currently we are offering. And our GUI uh, uh, covering this kind of service. 
uh, for downloading and input files for the open access files and searching calculation in the database, uh, you don't need to uh, log in into your account because uh, this kind, uh, these services are pretty available. And, but uh, if you want to upload your files and create data set and assign DOI, also downloading for the elastic files, you need login. So if you want to login, you can click this button and you can see the window for the login. And you enter the email and password and this is the, this screen is just you succeed to login. If you want, uh, here if you want to upload your files, click this button and you can see the, the instruction and just you can uh, follow this instruction to upload your files. If you click, 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 then you can see the text uh, uh, which can use the, uh, to upload your files. There are two ways to upload uh, your files. One is the CUR command. Uh, here you can see the text uh, for the command. Just uh, copy the text and paste it to the, uh, into the, your shell, prom shell prompt and you should change the uh, name of folder for yours and then execute, just execute command and you can unload your files. And the same way FTP command works, like this. <clears throat> and also uh, here, uh, if you check this option, my uploadable, uh, my uploaded data, you can see all the list of calculation you uploaded. Just click search button here, then now you see this page. Here, this part is the list of calculation entries uploaded by you. And also there is uh, the table for the list of data set entry. Here, the word data set means about, uh, group, is about grouping a multiple set of calculation into one data set entry. And then I'll explain, uh, of course you can create your data set for your data. So I'll explain how to create your data set here. First you have to choose uh, your data, uh, which uh, you want to be uh, belong to into the new data set. And make sure that all of these entries should be open access mode. And if you click this button, and you can see window here. Just enter the name of your new data set, and then you see the new data set is created. And the <clears throat> if you have data set, you can create, uh, you can assign DOI for your data set. The step uh, to make uh, to assign the DOI is very simple. Just click this button, and you can get your DOI here. Uh, this is a simple summary about the process to create DOI. Just uh, first step, just make sure that your data is open access and just create data set and assign DOI, that's it. And also by using our GUI, you can search, you can browse our database with a certain uh, search criteria here. <clears throat> First, uh, just make sure that uh, without logging into your account, you can use this service. Uh, first, if you click here about system type, you can choose one of them. And also for crystal system, for code, basic state type, and exit treatment, and for author name and command. And this is about data permission here. Open access means the given entry is being shown to the public uh, without any barrier. And about restrict, uh, only people who get permission can access the given entry. And also you can choose one of them on these periodic tables. Just let me give uh, show the one simple example uh, uh, to search it, uh, here on, on the GUI. <coughs> Just I put Two names here, uh, Claudia Drassel and Otto Berner. And uh, if, you, uh, if you put this item, the other possibilities on the period table are being grayed out. And just click the search button and then you can get the result for the, your search. Here is the result table for the given uh, search uh, about the calculation entries. 
If you want to download one of them, just click this show button and you can see this window and you can download uh, uh, any files, uh, whatever you want. <coughs> And uh, if you want to search with UI, just click this button, and just you can type UI or URL. Or if you get some normal UI from the journal, just uh, enter the UI here and click this button. But uh, before that, also you can click here, just you can see the list of URLs issued by Nomad repository. And if you click the, this, this show button, and you will be landed this page. And if you want to down, uh, if you want to show the entry of calculations here, just click show calculation button. Then you can see the list which are belonging to the data set here. Uh, creating your DI by using our Nomad repository is uh, there is very strong reason why we you should create your. UI uh, in our uh, Nomad repository is because uh, Nomad repository is the only repository in material science uh, recommended by Nature Scientific Data. And there are another reasons why you should use our Nomad repository. Here, the, we provide a full input and output parts of calculation. And we support uh, 24 most popular coders and uh, uh, we guarantee at least uh, 10 years for storing your files. And Nomad Repository is the biggest of all existing repositories. And here's a summary of my talk. First, I start with this question. How could we better use open access data? And our reject solution is the Nomad Repository. We get uh, many uh, achievements for, uh, uh, through the Nomad repository here, uh, we stored uh, 44 million total energy calculation in the repository, and we recommended by Nature Scientific Data. <clears throat> and beyond the Nomad repository, uh, we are going for a step toward a uh, novel uh, material discovery uh, by offering this kind of big data services. So here, let me introduce about my team, um, Matthias Seppler and from FHA, Cloud Dias from HUB, and Stefan Hansel from MPCDF, they are leading uh, our team, and Thomas Jastro and Lorenzo Chopardini and me uh, are working for implementation, user support, uh, all about the normal repository, and there are further comp contributions here. And our project has received uh, funding from this uh, research program and uh, thank you for your attention.